If you are curious to see what products I have in my latest Battle of the Brands, then stick around. So let's get this out of the way. If you like the content of this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content of this channel in general, please consider subscribing. I would appreciate it very much. Hi there, it is Elen with another video. I am so pleased you decided to join me today. I am introducing, you got it, another battle of the brands. And this time it is brow products. I'm going to go over pencils, brow pencils, brow waxes, brow highlighters, and also brow pomades. So I'm going to show you everything that I have and what I will be comparing, including some swatches. So let's get right into it. I have a number of brands here. I have Rimmel Morphe, Benefit, NYX, Sephora, Anastasia, Kat Von D, and Smashbox along with Quo. So let me show you. I've got products in a number of categories. I have pencils, I have brow waxes, I have brow setters, I have pomades, I have brow highlighters, and I also have wax and powder combos. So let's go right into what it is that I have to compare. I have a number of pen pencils. I have the Brow This Way Fiber Pencils Pencil by Rimmel. Looks like this. Brand new, and it is right here. This is the first one right here. You'll see that all the shades are very similar, so it's not like they're competing on shade. The next one over is Morphe, and it is brand new. This is what it looks like. If I can focus, there we go. So this is Morphe. Next over, I have a couple of Benefit Precisely My Brow pencils. I have one in number three. And actually both of them are in number three, pardon me. So they are these next two right here. So no difference there, that's fine. <clears throat> I thought one was 3.5, so I was mistaken. The next one is the NYX Micro Brow that uh, has, just like the, the Benefit Full Size, has a spoolie on one side and the... Um, pencil on the other and it is one two three four it is this one right here yeah it's the last one so this one right here so these are the five that I will be comparing so I will be comparing the overall component the color and they are very very similar so it'll be more like a wear test and just seeing how they go how much I like the component and all that good stuff Next up, I have a couple of three actually uh, brow waxes, and these are these are pencils that are different from the brow waxes I will show later. So I think it's a comparison of the types of waxes. So these are three waxes. This is a clear. This is a medium, I think, and I also do have. The, oh, this is a light actually. And then I also have a, is this a medium or dark? I will check, I think this is a medium. I also have a dark, so I have three colors in the Sephora brand. And you will see a couple of them right here. And I don't think that I have the clear one down here at all because you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to see it anyway. I would compare the clear though to a brow setter. So I'll show you those brow setters next. In brow setters I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel and I also have the Morphe Brow Setting Gel which is looks like this and this is what it looks like. So I'll be comparing those two. 
For brow highlighters, I have five. I have this Morphe highlighter, looks like this, and it is the first one on in the line here, right here. You can see it there. You can see the, the, um, the color match there. I then have, yeah, the highbrow, which is right here. You can see it right, right here. Then I have the Sephora Illuminator, uh, sorry, the Brow Enhancer in Matte Beige. And this is the one right here. Now, of course, they could be color, but I'm going to be really comparing how uh, it applies along with this other brow enhancer from Sephora called, uh, this one is in Pearly Opal. And so that is it right here. And I'm probably going to compare that very much to uh, the Morphe and the Highbrow. And the next one over is the Highbrow from Benefit that looks like this. And it is right here. So a bunch of brow highlighters to compare. Oh, and I have the NYX as well. And the NYX brow highlighter looks like this. So I'll be comparing all of them for color, texture, wearability, blendability, all those good things. And I also have a couple of brow products. Now, this one I have been featuring a lot on my channel. It is the Quo Brow Palette, and it comes with a brow highlighter, a light and dark um, powder, and then a wax. I will be comparing that one to another similar product that I have in my collection, which is the brow product from Smashbox that comes in the Shape Matters palette. So it has a brow wax and two colors for the brow. So I'll be using that one. And I also have the opportunity to use another one of the shades over here if I need a little bit of a darker color. So two kind of wax powder combos that I can compare. And then I finally have brow pomades. I will be comparing the Morphe brow pomade that looks like this. And I have this one in the shade Latte. The pencil is also in the shade Latte. I have the Dip Brow Pomade Kit by Anastasia. So I will be selecting the shade that looks the most like the Morphe shade out of here. And I also have the 24 hour Super Brow by Kat Von D. And there is certainly going to be a shade, I think it's going to be this one, that is going to correspond again to the Morphe pomade. So I'm going to be comparing, to recap, five brow pencils, five brow highlighters, three brow wax crayons along with two brow setters, two different kinds of wax powder combos, that was the quote in the Smashbox, and three pomades, Morphe, Anastasia, and Kat Von D. So I don't have every popular product for brow products, but I think I have enough to do a pretty darn good determination of which one of these products are the best out of my collection. Now, of course, if I dig anything else up that I forgot, I'll include it for sure, but I feel like I have enough categories and enough products per category to derive some pretty good recommendations. So I'm really looking forward to this new Battle of the Brands, and I look forward to reporting back. Hi there, Elen from the future here. I did forget four different products uh, that will also be going in the Battle of the Brands for Brow. And that is a line that I just actually finished a brand new focus on, and it's probably why I just didn't think of it, because I thought, oh, well, that one's done. But no, there are brow products in here. 
So the first one, so the brand is Joe Fresh. So as you can see, they have typical orange packaging. This one is called the Universal Brow Crayon. It's a very soft kind of a, almost between a pencil and a wax. Very interesting, goes on really smoothly. If you only have a couple minutes to do your brow, that is fantastic. And then something that is kind of one step up in firmness and less pigmentation is this Universal Brow Sculpting Wax, and it has an angled applicator, and it looks like this. And so that one, a little bit more hold, less color. And finally, a double-sided pencil with a spoolie on one side and pencil on the other. And it looks like this. In Ash is what the color is on that one. I'll give you a swatch because I did swatch the other ones earlier and actually I'll swatch the, the waxes as well. So here is the pencil. And let me just swatch the other two here. So the first one I'll wax is that sculpting wax in the smaller component. So here it is right there. And then the next one is that Universal Brow Crayon, the chubby guy. And this one, I have to admit, I already bought a second one when I saw how it worked for me. And so there's the second one. So those are the three products from Joe Fresh. And you probably saw this kind of turquoisey colored item here as well. And this is the Rita Hazen, where is it? Uh, Rita Hazen Dark Brown Slash Black. And this is for, it's apparently, it's, I mean, it's for uh, darkening roots in between um, colorings. And I do use this. I did have talked about it before in a video. As you can see, it's very much down. But one other aspect of the product is that it can be used as a brow cream. So kind of a, almost like a pomade. And so I don't have a ton left but certainly have enough for this trial. And that's actually what I have in my brow today. It's a little bit dark for me. It works for my hair, but it's a little bit dark for my brows. But for the purposes of this experiment, I think that is just fine. So that's it. Back to the main video. Thank you for your time. I'm very excited about this. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Other than that, I will get myself cracking on trying them all out and report back probably one update and then my final thoughts. Thanks for listening today. I appreciate it very much. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. <laughs> but for now, take care.